And now we're heading to Africa. In fact, we're going to Kenya to see what biologists are doing to study baboons. Right now we are driving to the field site from uh, Nairobi. And we are about to go out and track the baboons for the first time. Our baboon troop is uh, sleeping in the trees and the outcroppings next to this river. Here's the project. There are roughly 40 baboons in the troop, and the biologists want to know exactly where they go by putting GPS collars on every single one of them. And to do that, there's a team of biologists, all with different specialties. Probably in the next 15, 20 minutes or so, you'll start to see baboons trickle in this way. Shaheen's job? Get to know the baboons. He has to make them trust him so that he can get close and observe everything about their behavior. And this will also help us safely trap them in the cages. So it's, it's really important when we're pre-baiting the traps that as we're laying the bait that the baboons don't actually see us doing that because then they'll associate us directly with the food. We don't want to habituate baboons to viewing humans as food sources. The mastermind behind this entire project, Meg Crowfoot project that's really focused on trying to understand how groups of animals make decisions. Decisions about where to go and what to do. Um, and we're going to be doing this using GPS collars, very high resolution GPS collars that can track the movements of the whole group um, at one second resolution. And this is a really exciting new technology that's going to give us insight into how groups of animals make decisions that we've never been able to have before. But first, they test the collars. So we're getting ready to do a test walk with these collars to test the accuracy. We want to see if we can detect who's following who. Uh, I am no. following number two. I am supposed to follow number two after 10 seconds. I am following number eight immediately. Roland has actually been given the role of lead baboon, so he's heading off <laughs> and uh, enhance everybody is following him into different milling areas to try to simulate what baboons might do in the wild. This baboon group, one of the reasons we're interested in it is that it's a social network. So just like humans have these networks of social relationships between each other, these baboons have the same thing. But that in these baboons, the social network is a matter of life and death. So I think to understand an animal's behavior, to understand how these behaviors evolved, studying them in their own habitat is a really critical component, even though it means that you have to surmount some of these logistical challenges that we've been dealing with. Do the first day of baboon capture. Animal capture is this inherently risky process, and so I think part of, part of your responsibility as a researcher is to minimize that risk by being well prepared, by having people on hand who have good training, good skills, and who have sort of the suite of experience to deal with the kinds of situations that might arise. The first thing is safety. We don't want people getting hurt, and we don't want animals getting hurt. So what we're trying to do here is measure the amount of, uh, monitor the heart rate, and measure the amount of oxygen going through the red blood cells, just to make sure that the animal is, is uh, steady under anesthesia. And in this case, this uh, baboon's doing just great. Once the collars are on and all the other data is taken with the baboons, they can be released. By having simultaneous tracking data on all of these different individuals, we're going to be able to understand the interrelatedness of their decisions, the interrelatedness of their behaviors in a way that no one's ever been able to do before. And to me, that's part of what's so exciting about what we're doing here. Oh, and one more thing. This data right here represents the first data coming back from tracking the baboons. If you're interested more in this research or the researchers or anything about the project, follow this link right here.